Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. This is Taliesin McKnight, and today I will share um, a spell with you, which is the Evil Tongue spell. This is a spell that is used to stop malicious slander and gossip. And I will also walk through the different important elements in this spell um, that applies to magic spells in general. First of all, this is important for occultists, people that um, practice and believe in spells and magic, things like that. But this is also important for so-called skeptics or non-believers that want to understand um, occultism. People that want to have, simply want to understand uh, what the occult is about. So, I believe that this is an area of serious academic research. These beliefs have roots that go back thousands of years. Um, spells and magic is thousands of years old. So, whether it's real or not, um, this is sort of the archaeology of human thought. We're going back into very ancient ideas that are still going around. So anyways, the evil tongue spell. This is a spell that is used to stop malicious gossip and slander. So, we can go ahead and get started. Now, there are three elements in spell work. Three basic elements which occultism and magic is largely based on. From many different systems of magic around the world. It could be ceremonial magic, hoodoo, um, many different types of magic uh, practiced in the occult community has basic precepts, certain ideas, certain foundational concepts. And you'll see all three of these elements here in this spell. First of all, you have the symbol of your desire. This is the first element in spell work. Okay, symbolic image of your goal or the problem. Symbol of the situation, we will say. Okay, that is the first thing. The symbol of, I would say, your goal or desire, but that's not always the case. Sometimes this symbol is a problem. So, for example, um, if you're going to do a spell to get a couple closer to each other, you may have a candle in the astrological color of the man and of the woman, or whatever, and repeat this spell for a number of days, gradually bring the candles closer, and then tie them together that they're bound together in their love. That's an example of representing your goal. Okay, um, your voodoo dolls, that's an image of what you're doing. It's symbolic, okay, which sometimes are used for positive work. So you symbolize your desire or in this case, the problem, sympathetic magic. You go back thousands of years ago to the Paleolithic period, and uh, you see paintings on cave walls of rituals where Cape prehistoric man had stabbed uh, statues of animals in the desire that that would equal a real hunt. So sympathetic magic. Uh, gossip. How do you symbolize, in this case, symbolizing the problem of gossip? This spell, you will use a cow's tongue. As out there as that may seem, 
The tongue is obviously a symbol for gossip, speech. So the symbol of the situation or problem, you will buy a cow's tongue. You can buy this at your local supermarket. So this is the cow's tongue. Okay? That obviously represents gossip. And in this spell, um, you will be expressing your energy and uh, poking needles into this tongue to stop the gossip. Now the second part of a spell um, is a link. It's what you call a magical link. The, the occultist Aleister Crowley, Aleister Crowley talked a lot about the magical link. It is something that links a spell with a target. For example, in a love spell, um, I don't encourage coercive love spells, but the idea is you need that person's hair. You need, in order to affect a target, it's believed that you need to have that person's fingernails or hair or blood or something that they owned, that this still has part of their energy and can affect the target. So, this is what you call a magical link. This is something that links the symbolic act with the person that you're affecting or the situation. For example, if you're going to do a spell to get a job promotion, not only will you need a symbol of the goal, but you need something to link the spell to your job, such as a business card, something linked to the business, or to affect a person, in this case, um, some of their hair, something linked to them. Some people will write out a name. You can do that. <clears throat> this is called the magical link. So the cow's tongue represents that person's gossip. The link to that person can be hair or whatever and their name written on a piece of paper. Now, writing someone's name on a piece of paper, that's a link. Not believed to be very strong, but it's still a link. Symbolic act and the person's name, preferably some of their hair. Now, the third and last important part of any spell, this is a foundation stone of occultism. If you really want to understand how uh, spells and magic and all this stuff works, emotional energy. It's believed that emotions and things like that have energy. Anger, love, desire, passion, that these have energy that fuel the work. If you take the symbol of your goal and the link as the uh, machine, the fuel that makes the machine run is your own emotional energy. Okay? Emotional energy... In this case, it's, uh, well, how do you emotionally respond when someone's ruining your reputation by talking bad about you behind your back? What is the natural emotional response when someone's talking shit about you and ruining you? You get mad, you get angry, you get pissed off. So obviously that is the emotional energy in this case. It's anger. You could watch all the YouTube or talk to all the people you want on magic. Most people just write a, tell you a spell. But I'm telling you the essential components breaking down the spell and how this works together. Now, I don't encourage people to do negative work. But, you know, if someone's ruining your reputation, this is the spell. Now... So you have the, the symbol of the gossip, the cow's tongue, which you can buy at the supermarket, a link. Write their name on a piece of paper. If you can get some of their hair and fold the paper around it, all the better. And your own emotion. You'll also need nine nails. Nails, okay? So very simple. Take the cow's tongue. Some people might like to anoint it with palm oil, which... Is, is uh, seen as kind of a fiery substance to represent this kind of a hot working 
<clears throat> anoint, the, anoint the tongue in cow, uh, palm oil, or you don't have to do anything. Now you take the tongue and you focus your mind, your intent, that this represents that person's gossip. This cow's tongue or whatever you're using, this is the symbol of the problem. This is the gossip. You have to gather your emotional energy. You take the person's name, you write their name on a piece of paper. You could write their full name once, you can write it nine times, whatever works for you. And you might want to fold it around their hair if you can get some. This is your link in your situation. You take nine nails, like you nail something to it. You take nine nails, you take that paper, and you focus your anger. This person's gossiping about me, you know, shut up, stop your gossip or whatever. And with that emotional drive, you stab the nail through the paper and into the tongue. You take the other nail, you stab it through the paper and into the tongue. Take another nail, stop talking about me, and stab it through the paper and into the tongue. Take the other nail, stop talking about me, stab it through the paper and into the tongue. To stop talking about me. You do that with all nine nails through the paper, the person's link to that person, and into the tongue. <clears throat> Obviously, all this is, you want to break down the whole uh, mystery around it all. It is a ritual, symbolic act of your goal. And if you want to break down magic, it is a ritualistic representation of your desire, which people believe has the ability to affect change in the world. So you write that person's name, their hair, you stab nine needles into the tongue. Then you may take this and to really get your emotional energy into it, you may slam it on the floor and, and you know, uh, spit on it, kick it, stomp it, whatever. You're getting your energy into it. That's the third component, your emotional energy. Then you take this out into the woods, let it rot. And the theory is that as the tongue rots, so will uh, their tongue rot out figuratively. Um, their gossip will turn around on them. So that's an example. You have your symbolic goal, your link to that person, and your emotional energy. So that is a very simple method for stopping gossip from a magical standpoint. Magic is a... Magic is an ancient practice, obviously goes back thousands of years, and many people do it. You might be surprised. Your neighbor, your co-worker, may be practicing this occult stuff and you don't even know it. There's a lot of people out there that engage in this stuff. They obviously just don't go around telling someone. No one's gonna say, hi, how you doing? My name's Talison, I'm a witch. So, Beautiful day to, you know, I'm just saying. Okay. <clears throat> so that's very simple. Okay, I might give you another, uh, another spell. So, magic, basically what people are practicing, what all these witch people are doing, a ritualistic symbolic act representing their goal, combined with the knowledge of different, the properties of different herbs and stones and metals and um, some people put in astrological timing. So it's really in a sense a science of the knowledge of botany, the knowledge of what herbs affect what and the properties of different stones and putting all of this together um, into some kind of a ritualistic act. And that's the evil tongue spell. Um, another way to stop gossip, and it's going to have these same components. You may make a doll, like people think of a voodoo doll. You make a doll of that person. Okay, this represents that person. This doll is your magical link. This is a, another spell, a separate spell. This is another way to do it. That doll represents that person like a voodoo doll. Now, you really need to link this doll to your target. You may get some of their hair, fingernails, whatever, write their name, whatever you can do. 
And then you might get some knotweed or something for constricting or binding. Put that in the doll. And then you take a sewing needle and so you have your link and you sew their mouth shut. Ritualistic action. And again, I'm not encouraging that people do negative stuff. Um, you know, you have, I just want to fully cover the topic and talk about everything. And B, I'm not saying magic's real or not, but these are the actual fundamentals. And uh, that's the evil tongue spell. That's how to stop gossip. Um, many more videos coming out on practical occultism um, based on the actual foundations. Um, many more video videos coming out on these types of subjects. That's hard to find, especially on YouTube. Anyways, thank you for joining me, and see you guys next time. Have a great day, y'all.